How are you all? I hope that you all are fine. My name is Virda Nirali from Saraswati Group of Education. And today in this session we are going to learn about simile and metaphor. That is figure of speech. As you have already learned about the simile. But again we are going to understand because uh, once you will learn metaphor then you will get confused between simile and metaphor. So, we are going to understand again and you all know about figure of speech, right? And as I have already said when we have learned this simile, that uh, we, will learn, we will not learn every figure of speech all together. We will learn one by one. So, now we are going to see about simile and metaphor, okay? So, over here, I am writing the sentence. These mangoes are sweet as honey. These mangoes are sweet as honey. कि ये जो mangoes है, mangoes कैसे होते हैं? Mangoes are sweet. Same way, honey is also sweet. So, यहाँ पे mango और honey का comparison किया गया है. Here, uh, mango जो है, वो as are sweet as honey. यानि कि mango जो जितना sweet है, उतना ही honey भी sweet है. So, this kind, such kind of comparison comes under simile. So, simile is a figure of speech that is used Simile is a figure of speech that is used to compare two things. That is used to compare two things. Right? show a common quality show a common quality and show a common quality between them it is used to make the description more vivid Understand this thing 
much better. The first, you kept remember this thing that compare it compare two things and it shows a common quality. Okay. So, yes, we can say that this is a simile because 
The baby's eye looks like an angel. It looks so beautiful. So it is uh, somewhat, uh, we can say comparison to her, but in direct way, we have to do it modify it, right? To make it more, it looks attractive. Now if I say the baby looks like his father, so here the comparison becomes, we don't, we, we, we have not seen angels. We have angels ko nahi dekha hai here, right? So, we, but we know that angels are very beautiful and very good. Like it looks so pretty. So that's why we have just compared this thing with it. Now, the baby looks like his father here. The comparison becomes identical. Yani ki hume pata hi hai ki ye jo baby uske papa ki tarah dekhe he looks like. She looks like his father. So, jo ye comparison ho gaya, wo bohat hi simple or direct comparison ho gaya. Ye comparison jo ho gaya, it becomes a simple and a direct comparison. So, over here though, the word like is used but the comparison is very simple in its way. It is a very simple comparison. Kiya gaya hai. That's why this sentence is not a simile. This jo sentence is not a simile. Nahi. But here it is not a simile. They have just compared it. They have made it so extraordinary. made it so beautiful by comparing a baby with an angel. That's why yes, this sentence is a simile. ये जो सेंटेंस है वो सिमिली है, राइट? सो आह कंपैरिशन ऑफ़ टू थिंग्स ऑफ़ द सेम काइंड इज़ नॉट अ सिमिली। कंपैरिशन ऑफ़ टू थिंग्स कंपैरिशन ऑफ़ टू थिंग्स of the same kind of the same kind is not a simile. As I told you that when you compare two things and it is one of the things that 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 is one of the same kind then that sentence is not a simile, okay? A simile is different from a simple comparison in that it always draws a comparison between two unrelated things. Yani ki ek dusre se wo relate na karte ho, aisi cheez hai. So we can say that a simile A simile is different from a, a simile is different from a simple comparison in that it always draws comparison between two unrelated things. यानी कि वो एक दूसरे से relate ना करती हो ऐसी चीजें between unrelated two unrelated things, right? So a simile is different from simple comparison. A simple comparison is थोड़ा different है. In that it always draws comparison. कि वो ऐसा कंपैरिशन जो करती है कि जहाँ पे there is कंपैरिशन तो है but unrelated things के बीच में कंपैरिशन किया गया है ठीक है now let us see uh, some of the example sentences related to simile so if I say That uh, when I'm feeling tired, 
when I am feeling tired, right? Muse, listening to music, listening to music works like. Does so more directly? 
कंपैरिजन था लेकिन यहाँ पे थोड़ा डायरेक्ट वे में कंपैरिजन होगा विदाउट यूजिंग वर्ड्स विदाउट यूजिंग वर्ड्स सच एस लाइक और एस सच एस लाइक और एस कि यहाँ पे कंपैरिजन होगा सो डायरेक्ट वे में बट वहां पे लाइक और एस का यूज नहीं होगा इट यूजेस एन अमेज स्टोरी और अ रियल थिंग यहाँ पे जो वो यूज होगा तो वो स्टोरी के रिलेटेड और ये इमेज होगा कुछ और ये रियल थिंग और रियल थिंग विल बी देयर टू रिप्रेजेंट ऑन अदर थिंग दूसरी चीज को रिप्रेजेंट करने के लिए ऐसा कुछ होगा और सम क्वालिटी और आइडिया सो इन मैटर फॉर अ वर्ड इन व्हिच द स्टैंडर्ड यूसेज डिनोट्स वन काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग क्वालिटी और एक्शन एक की जो क्वालिटी एक्शन और जो भी है इज अप्लाइड टू अनदर वो दूसरे पर हम अप्लाई करेंगे इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ स्टेटमेंट आइडेंटिटी इंस्टेड ऑफ कंपैरिजन कंपैरिजन नहीं करेंगे बिल्कुल उसकी आइडेंटिटी सेम है या नहीं वो दोनों आइडेंटिकल होने चाहिए राइट नाउ लेट अस हैव सम एग्जांपल the news is music to my ears the news is music to my ears yani ki music bhi hum sunte hain aur news ko bhi hum sunte hain to wo dono identical ho gaya yahan pe dono ki quality ke dono ko hum sunte hain right we will we'll do listen to this so yahan pe dono ki quality ke we will listen aur wo hum we listen to our without ears only so yahan pe there is a direct way of comparison hoga kyunki music aur news wo dono hi identical ek jaisi hi hai aur dono ko hum sunte hain right so here there is a direct comparison and it is identical with each other that's why this sentence this music is the news is music to my ears is a metaphor now if i say he has a heart of gold heart of gold uska jo heart hai wo gold ki tarah hai right it is so pure so yahan pe bhi thoda direct comparison ho gaya aur yahan pe comparison to hua lekin yahan pe humne like aur as ka use nahi kiya hai to jo aise sentences hai jahan pe like aur as ka use nahi kiya gaya ho na kiya gaya ho comparison karne ke liye in such words are known as metaphor Now if I say life is a journey, life is a journey. Now journey means that traveling from uh, one place to another. Journey यानी कि हम लोग एक place से दूसरी जगह travel करते हैं that is known as journey. तो हमारी life जो है वो भी एक journey की तरह है कि पहले छोटे थे दिन बड़े हुए फिर और journey moves on right. फिर हम child हुए then we comes to an adult era. teenagers right then we become young so hamare jo life ki journey hai it also goes on increasing bhi badhti rehti hai so here um, life is compared with a journey that it moves from one place to another right and ye dono ki identical in life and the journey so here there is a direct comparison without using the words like or as now if i say all the all the world stage and all the men and women we are the players yani ki world jo ek stage hi nahi hai world ko stage bola hi gaya hai ki all the world stage yani ki jo pura ka pura world ek stage ki tarah platform ki tarah hai aur wah ya wahan pe jo men and women hai aur men and women ko compare nahi usko bataya gaya hai ki they are players ki they are players ya ki hum jo log hai wo wah us stage ke players hai so there is there is some identical form and we have shown some common quality and we have made a direct comparison that's why it is known as metaphor now if i say the moon's snowball the moon's a snowball snowball there is a white round ball aur us moon kaisa hota hai the moon pe ek dum white and round hota hai So here we have made a direct comparison. कि दोनों ऐसे हैं and without using the words like or as का use किए बिना हमने ऐसा किया. So they are both identical in nature. 
वो एक जैसे ही दिखाई देंगे अगर आप उसे देखोगे तो वो आपको एक जैसे ही दिखाई देंगे राइट सो देर इज आइडेंट देर आइडेंटिकल इन नेचर दैट्स व्हाई वी कैन से इट इज अ मेटाफर ओके नाउ लेट अस सी सम सेंटेंसेस रिलेटेड टू मेटाफर Thank you. Take good care of yourself and bye.